Hello again. Now I'm going to solve next question 86, booklet A, unit 2. Again, this is a question of algebra. See, this is the speciality of this question is it is question of ring and groups both together. So it is like two options are on groups and two options are on rings. The, I just read out the question. Let P be a prime. Pick each correct statement from below up to isomorphism. So we have to select four options that is talking about groups or rings up to isomorphism of a particular order that is p square. So among these four options you can read this question from your booklet or you can see on screen as well. The first option there are exactly two abelian groups of order p square. See order of g equal to p square we know any two group of any group order p square is either isomorphic to z p square or isomorphic to z p cross z p. Of course, this is very fundamental question group order p square. Every group order p square is abelian and up to isomorphism, we have these two non isomorphic groups of order p square. One is cyclic and other is non cyclic, but both are abelian. So, there are only two groups of order p square up to isomorphism. Of course, both are abelian. So, first and second option are correct. I read out. There are exactly two abelian groups of order p square. Bilkul hai. There are only two groups. There are exactly two groups of order p square. Of course, both are abelian. So, there are only two and both are abelian. So, first and second are correct. Now, the other two options are about rings or integral domain. They say there are exactly two commutative rings of order p square. See, z p cross z p, where z p is ring with respect to this modulo p and this modulo. We know z p, this is ring. And component wise multiplication, if we take, then z p cross z p is also a ring. So, we have these two rings. of cardinality p square rather they are saying order but we avoid to say order these are two rings of order p square cardinality p square but with the help of this or this we can define zero ring what we do we take this operation p square this and this dot z p cross z p that again that same addition and then dot what is dot here ki a comma b belong to z p square then a dot b is defined as 0 called similarly here for any the point is important here for any abelian group g abelian group g if g star is abelian we can define a group as g star dot as g plus dot from any abelian group i can always define a ring in this fashion where a plus b equal to a star b and a dot b equal to e for all a b belongs to g such ring is called zero ring so we have this ring this another ring both are commutative and now with these two there are corresponding two rings which are again commutative but they are not isomorphic to this or this so there are more than two rings of order p square or in fact cardinality p square up to isomorphism. So, option 3 is incorrect. Now, about option 4, they say there is exactly one integral domain of order p square or cardinality p square. As we know, any two finite field of same cardinality are isomorphic and every finite integral domain every finite integral domain is field. So, when they say there is exactly one integral domain of order p square, it is certainly true because it has to be field then and any two field of same cardinality are isomorphic. So, there is only one integral domain of order p square. So, option 4 is also correct. So, for question number 86, the correct options are 1, 2 and 4 are correct. Thank you. We are just going for next question, a course of algebra.
थैंक यू